Dear student, let's learn the muscles who are present around the shoulder joint. In this model, we can see the clavicle, which is this end of the clavicle is the sternal end. We can see that it's quadrangular and it's rounded here and it's concave forward. And then we can see this muscle, this huge muscle, which makes the bulk of our shoulder joint. And that muscle is the deltoid. And these are the anterior fibers of the deltoid. And they are going downwards to be converged at their distal attachment. There we are looking at the biceps brachii muscle with its two heads. Now you can see the acromial end of the clavicle is being visible here and you can see this anterior fibers are attached at this lateral part of my clavicle bone and there you can see the middle fibers which are coming from this acromion process and you can also see the posterior fibers see the posterior fibers the middle fibers and the anterior fibers they converge and they are going towards the deltoid tuberosity if we look posteriorly we can see very clearly there is the acromion process of the scapula this is the spine of the scapula and this is the lateral part of my clavicle bone the acromial end and they are articulating at acromio acromio clavicular joint and then you can see very clearly the posterior fibers of my deltoid muscle and then above to the spine you can see this muscle that is one of the muscles of rotator cuff and this is supraspinatus and there you can see the infraspinatus muscle and then you can see this muscle which is separately been shown here that is my teres minor and there you can see the teres major and here you can see the triceps muscle has been shown so after removing this deltoid muscle now you can see very clearly the spine of the scapula the acromion process and there is the supraspinatus muscle and you can see its tendon and then you can see below to the spine you can see the infraspinatus and its attachment you can see the teres minor muscle and then you can see the teres major muscle now the triceps muscle is more clearer to you after removing the deltoid muscle now we can see very clearly the full length of my clavicle you can see its medial end you can see its lateral end you can see the acromion process now we have removed the deltoid muscle and we have also removed the bicep brachii muscle and now let's quickly recap this is the clavicle bone sternal end acromial end this is the acromion process of the scapula acromioclavicular joint we can see now very clearly the tendon of the supraspinatus the tendon of the infraspinatus and the tendon of my teres minor muscle they all are going to be attached on the greater tubercle of the humerus bone then we can see this is the tendon of my subscapularis muscle and that has been seen attached to the lesser tubercle of the humerus which is located at the upper end now let's recap subscapularis supraspinatus infraspinatus and teres minor these all four muscles are together known as the rotator cuff muscles and they are one of the stabilizing factor of my shoulder joint. Now we can see on the same model from the front and let's have an orientation. This is my clavicle bone. That is my coracoid process. And there is my, what is this muscle? Coracobrachialis. And then we can see on the costal surface of my scapulae, this muscle is my subscapularis muscle. And you can see that it's going towards the upper end of the humerus bone to be attached on the lesser tubercle. This is one of the rotator cuff muscle. 
Now we can see there is another muscle and this muscle is my teres major muscle. Another muscle has been visible in this model and that is my tricep.